In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use layers within Paint. So although Paint is very basic, it still does have quite a lot of useful tools within it, which is why I always use Paint as my first go-to when I need to do a quick edit within Windows. So as you can see, I've currently got Paint on my screen at the moment. So the first thing that I want to do is just select the text tool and I'm just going to write computersluggish.com. I'm now going to change the background of this. So I'm going to select the first option here and I'm then going to change color to, and I'm just going to select yellow. So you can now see that I've got computersluggish.com with a yellow background. So essentially there are two layers there. The first being computersluggish.com, which would be on the second layer. And the first layer would be the yellow background. So to edit the yellow background, but keep computersluggish.com text, I need to change the colors at the top. So color one needs to be the color that you want to remove. So I want to remove yellow. Color two needs to be the color which you want to replace it with. So I want to replace it with white. So the next thing that we need to do is then select the eraser tool on the left hand side here, or it's actually called rubber. And you then need to hold down the right button, the right click button on your mouse to start erasing. So as you can see, it's starting to take away the yellow there. I'm actually going to zoom in a bit so you can see this a bit clearer. And if I keep going, you can now see, like magic, it's kept computersluggish.com. So you can see it's removing the other layer. So we can do this with many other things within paint. So if I zoom out again, if I now grab a shape, so I'm going to use the square here and I'm going to keep color one is yellow and then color two, I'm going to change to a blue. And I also want this to be on solid color so it fills. So you can now see I've got a yellow border and then we've got a blue background. So I'm now going to draw another square on top, but I'm going to change color two to orange. There we go. And I'm then going to select the rubber tool. And if I then zoom in, so we've got the two squares there and I want to remove the orange on top. So what I'm going to do is change color one to orange and I'm then going to change color two to blue. If I now hold down the right click mouse button again, you can see it's keeping the yellow border, but it's replacing it with the blue. So there we go. I can go all the way along there and you can see that it's not replacing the yellow. So that does pretty much bring me to the end of this video. That is how you can basically do layers within paint. Although it's nowhere near as perfect as using a, another photo editing program like Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Photo, or something like that, or even paint.net, it does still get the job done. So I hope this little video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.